I'm most proud of the job that I've done as a father so far. I really am. I mean, there's no, you know, book that you can read that, that teaches you how to do that. And I think that I've done a really good job with all the stuff that I have going on of being as fully present and available as I can when I'm home. The opposite of life is far, 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 far greater than just not work. That's an interesting perspective we can talk on. Work life balance. Life is way more than just not work. <laughs> there is so many other facets to life that if you're splitting down your life into just life and work, it's ridiculous. It's all your life. There are all these things that are encompassed in, in both of those. So it's not just work and non-work, right? I believe the reason people aren't able to be fully off is because they're never truly on. And I think we have a society of people that are just living in this halfway in, halfway out middle ground. But unless you've gone all in in the week, you can't be off on the weekend because you're thinking about all the stuff you didn't do. You're thinking about what you got to make up for next week. You're thinking about, you know, all this stress of, of what comes with not being all in at, at work. So you can't be truly at peace and at rest on the weekend and, and actually, you know, listen with your eyes like that's a big thing for me is like you know if i'm looking at my phone you know i'm the best multitasker in the world and people don't realize that i'm listening to everything they say when i'm looking at my phone but like if you're not looking at someone when they're talking that it's you might as well you know, just be in another room and so i've i've really focused a, a lot on that the only way people talk about balance is in regards to taking away from something so in order to create work-life balance, I have to work less. What about be at home more? <laughs> uh, you never hear somebody say like, man, fourth quarter of eight, 2018, I crushed it at home. <laughs> best father, best husband. You know, coming on this first quarter, uh, you know, it's January. I'm, I'm really going to not be home as much. And I'm really trying to focus on it. Like that's, that conversation does not exist. It's always, man, I really need to work on my work-life balance. I'm gonna start leaving the office at four, start getting home soon. Like it's always that. It's always this crutch. There's a reason why I need to work less. Like what about do more? So there's two ways to balance a scale, right? So if I'm a scale and I get off balance, if I put more over here, it'll balance it. But why is the way that the world talks about balance and taking away from over there to balance it? So if you want to go all in, so if you if you need to be with your wife and kids more, then by all means, be with your wife and kids more. That doesn't mean you need to work less. It may mean that you need to sleep less. It may need, mean that you need to quit going to happy hour every Thursday or quit being in the intramural softball league and the dart league and the poker club and the this and this and that and that and all this other stuff. But the the thought that you have to work less in order to be at home more is just your excuse for your lack of effort. There's no such thing as balance, it's just recognizing the imbalances as quickly as possible and then adjusting accordingly. But understanding that as soon as you adjust, it's gonna create an imbalance somewhere else. And so I look at it as more of a harmony than a balance because it's always gonna ebb and flow.